I am excited to watch this match go down. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great one. Uh, but at the same time, I think the desk is right. You got to favor G2 a little bit. Uh, I think AXB was a good pickup overall uh, to replace Squishy. I feel like, he, like I said yesterday, he fills a lot of the same uh, roles. He's got great support and great offensive capability, especially considering his massive level up from last season. So uh, I know it's been a bit of a rough start here for version one, but I still think this is going to be a good match. We've got G2 in the orange, version one in the blue, a best of five. And these teams both at 2-0. and oh. Someone correct me if I'm wrong about that. I'm pretty sure that's true. Well, it means one of them is qualifying for next weekend. Here comes AXB. Gets Rizzo on the wall. Detaches to block. Gimmick has an open net in front of him, but a difficult angle to hit and can't quite sneak it into that upper corner. And now JNAPS out with Chicago in front of him. Chicago goes for the bump, gets it, and he'll <laughs> steal the goal too. That's G2 on the board. And they catch him on transition here. Got a little too aggressive, didn't get a piece of it there, and it's just a long drive back. And AXB doing his best, but what can you do in the two-on-one scenario? Chicago's got him squared up. And uh, just for good measure, he'll make sure he takes the goal away as well. And that one's mine. Thank you very much. 405 on the clock now. First minute going to give G2 the lead. JNAPS now through the oh, air. No. This one looks good as well, too. Oh, just off the kickoff. Disaster of a challenge as this one just went back into the corner. Gimmick up early and went just a few pixels too high. And then the demo came through in the opposite corner. So no chance. And again, version one. Oof, it's it's uh, it's not looking good one minute in. Right now, the desk looking real smart. Just got to just chill out just a little bit. Settle in. Like their uh, coordinated uh, ball. Let's hit the shot. Torment tried there through the air not to get it. Didn't quite get it, though. I, I appreciate the coordination on the paint schemes. All running pearlescent purple with something else here. It's not very often we see teams try to create their own in-game uniform. If they don't actually have one. G2 has uniforms. So they're not wearing them. Come on, guys. They did the same thing. They all went red with uh, either black or white. They gave, a, they gave themselves a uniform. I like it. Here comes Gimmick. Into the corner. Chicago now over the top of AXB. Torment was actually cheated up pretty far. They're both going to be falling back here, and this should give G2 some nice possession out in front of the ball. There's AXB now to put it back away, and JNAPS into the corner off the backboard. Looks for a double tap, and they're not going to quite get it between the posts. Here comes Rizzo. Back towards the box. Gimmick will trap it on the wall. Chicago's going to have low boost to work with, but nobody home! The wow. ball gets bumped out, and Chicago's got a free net in front of him. And that makes three goals in a row now for G2, where they get the goal just because someone's been demoed and there's been no way to recover after that. Just losing the challenge in the corner and G2 uh, forcing open real estate and they move right in. Three minutes left, three goals down. Version one's got their work cut out for them. Is this the start of it? No, it's just a bit high. Demolition on Rizzo did open up some space. Now AXB looks for the pass to Gimmick. He's up for it, but blocked in front of the goal. Now Chicago versus Torment. Neutral to the side. JNAPS over the top of Torment. Chicago will turn back in. Collapsed on by AXB. The ball heads towards the box. Rizzo beaten. Chicago holding onto it on his own backboard. Takes it to the corner. Torment will challenge, and JNAPS will find a clear out of the box all the way down the entire length of the pitch. XB on the fallback is not quite able to reach it twice now, and Gimmick has to try and collapse for him. There's Rizzo and Chicago in front of the box. They're not going to miss too much pressure. 4-0. G2 is running away with it. And it's four straight. They got another bump on the goal line. Look at Rizzo. Oh, wait, no. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I thought he hit Torment. That's why Torment was out of position. Never mind. I'm completely he's, wrong. Torment just was slightly him. off. <laughs> he zoned him out. Torment had to move to avoid the bump, and that did the job. And now across halftime, G2 running away with game number one. This one is cleanly that it would be a, a unprecedented collapse where they to lose this game. And they're going to try actually and would be the score up. Yeah. If you manage to lose 4-0, even with two minutes left, uh, considering how well they're playing, that actually would be a catastrophic meltdown. It's Rizzo, the top of Chicago. Next B will just crank one to the net. No one's home. That's the start. They've got time. We'll it does make it feel a little more doable. I mean, and they get a, a little bit of G2's medicine going for him. Gimmick with a bump on, I believe it was JNAPS. Just push him off the back line. So version one, like you said, they've got time. Three goals, just under two minutes. Unlikely, but definitely possible. Well, if there's a, if three players experienced with playing from behind, 
Lots of veteranship on this roster, newly playing together here with the addition of AXB, but Torment and Gimmick have been in the situation plenty of times. Torment and Gimmick, part of that Cloud9 roster from Season 6 that broke the North American World Championship drought. First team to win it since Season 1 from North America. Oh, and Torment Another one. will get, just get that, that <laughs> my goodness. They just, the poor people cannot sit in their own box. No, <laughs> there is no way to play defense. Torment starts edging forward because he thinks AXP is going to win that ball. He realizes that AXP is beat, hits the brakes, and then, of course, someone rotates out from behind him in his own corner, shoves him out of the way, and that, that's five straight. <laughs> and they're, they're simply just outclassing them. The version one right now has six shots to one goal. G2 has seven shots to five. They've only missed twice or been blocked twice. One got saved. There's one unaccounted for Shider from Chicago over the top. Gimmick will get a save on that one. JNAP's up for it to drop another one towards the other corner. <laughs> Torment gets there this time, but a small double commit AXB now to try and buy his new teammates time. Yeah, dude, these ones aren't going in because they're not bumping the guy who can make the save out of the way. <laughs> Torment now into this corner once more. Kind of just kills this. He has no boost. He's going to look for the back pass. Rizzo over the top of one. Now Chicago. A bit of space. Could have had he been able to put it on target. That would have been a sixth goal. It's been a long time, I feel like, since we've had a Brazil in a league play format. I actually can't remember the last time. Yeah, I, th I think one happened at a world championship recently, but not in not, well, at, not at this level of play. There's six. 13 <laughs> seconds left. They can do it. That's a banger, too. Nice quick transition. Chicago getting sideways away from the challenger. And then AXB is just trying to figure out if he needs to go for it or not. It takes one second too long, and JNAPS just goes right up the pitch. So, yeah, G2. Uh, this, this is a dominating game one. There, there's really nothing else to say about this. They've made a statement for sure, but can they continue to back it up? Game one, when it's a blowout like this, oftentimes game two will be quite the stalemate mm -hmm. so we'll see how things get tightened up here for version one obviously plenty of experience there in adjusting in the middle of a series from this roster of xp gimmick and torment xp scoring the only goal and getting five shots leading the team in stats in this first game in a losing effort but the story of game number one achieves really was the physical play from g2 in the enemy box oh yeah it's a uh, very similar to uh, what we saw last week uh, from Europe and a couple of teams. It's just, you know, uh, get behind them, smash them out of the way, make a move, and you score goals. It's a very simple strategy, and it's not a bad strategy. I think I think I caught a little bit of flack because I was given Vitality flack for uh, not being very creative. Well, this isn't very creative where, either. I don't care how creative it where it is. I care that it works. I mean, <laughs> and G2 nailed it. <laughs> Yeah, well, you went version one, the uh, the kind of the reimagined Cloud9, a team you used to chastise for their vanilla style of play. It did work for them, though, as well. Vanilla does get the job done sometimes. There's nothing wrong with vanilla ice cream. It's tasty. I'm just saying. It, oh. Every now and again, you got to do something different. And JNAPS delivers. He gets a nice shot here, but I feel like this this came off of Rizzo onto the backboard. AXP just doesn't touch it. He just JNAPS is, has the free read. Doesn't have to adjust at all for the defense. That's goal number one, six seconds in. G2 continues to build on this momentum. Now AXB off the ceiling. To try and take this one himself. Nice and soft under JNAPS. Rizzo will cover it up to the side. Pass to Chicago. Clears back down the field. Back on the offense. Torment now trying to control this one. Rizzo slows down, gives it for JNAPS. Now AXB back to gimmick. Onto the side wall, turned around. Bit of confusion from G2 in the midfield. They overlap each other, but a quick cover up from the third man will do the trick. And now JNAPS out to Chicago. That got two players. Here comes Rizzo up against Gimmick. This one neutral down the midfield, and JNAPS will have lots of space. Can he find Rizzo? No, he goes wow. to it himself. Ace people to stop it. Here's Chicago to shoot just dead center. 2 0 G2. What are you supposed to do with this? First, this is a great touch from JNAPS. The recovery is perfect. But from AXB's perspective, what else can you do? He's trapped on the like, post. Like, you, you can't let that bounce off the wall because you don't have the time to back up. He's got to try and make the touch there. I mean, AXP just got tied up off a crazy challenge that just pinged off his teammate's car on the sidewall. Truly unfortunate for version one. Oh. Gimmick trying to get it back off the kickoff, but 
Nothing going. Oh, man. And Zaynep's out of boost. That might be the only saving grace here. Still try to get the pass off. It's going to take too many touches. Version 1 will be able to get back on defense. They won't get the breakaway third goal. But at this point, they don't need it. G2 is doing so much. Double demolition could help. But the ball, man, they take two touches just to try and get it back to midfield. The demolitions aren't going to matter. The ball doesn't even leave the back third. G2 gets tw demo demoed twice. Version 1 can't even get it out of their own half by themselves. They have a little bit of work to room to work with, but JNAPS immediately just took that right back. That's in. Oh, his save is it still in? Oh, okay. This is tough. AXP's having to put in the work on the goal line here in game two, and sometimes he's been able to get it done. Other times the situation is just two against him. And version one, here we go. There's at least a little bit of ball control, but not able to hang on to it for too long. Chicago with the back pass to JNAPS used to. The offenders to help him out. XP tries to slow this one down. Chicago tried to take the ball control, but look at, the, look at the decision there from Chicago. Immediately going for players the moment he's missed the ball. And oh my gosh. off the back wall falls and kind of dishes it in. What a play. Oh, Torment. He's stuck here on the goal line, and he's thinking, nah, man, Rizzo doesn't have that. But he also misreads it. He also thought that ball was going to be bouncing a little bit further out, and he planned to catch it, and it went behind him. So even if Rizzo misses that, Torment still doesn't come up with that touch, and they're still going to be boxing in their own half. Just a beautiful shot from Rizzo, and Torment didn't think he could even <laughs> get there. Approaching halftime, it's the same story as game number one. G2 up to a three-goal lead already. And completely shutting out version one so far. Only one goal on the series for them. Can they make it two right now? No. Gimmick now, maybe the pass to AXP, just stalls in the midfield, and Rizzo, happy to collapse on it. JNAP's now the pass to Chicago, he's up for it, nobody's home, that's gonna be a fourth one. G2 continues to dominate. This one's just a product of placement. The challenge goes into a neutral territory, JNAP's puts it across, and Gimmick knows this is a matter of does he put it in the right spot, and yes, he does. Gimmick trying to race back, and the only place he can't get to is that top left corner, and Chicago delivers a perfect ball. G2 is nasty right now. It's and version one is honestly giving them though the space to do it. They're they're not making it hard on them. It's gonna with the attempt there, Rizzo. The side AXB to the back wall. J Naps. Looking for the pass across on the infield. There's a block. Version one finally intercepts one of the passes. Rizzo up against AXB. Nice play across. Um, Chicago flips their own direction. Will not worry about it. JNAP's now into the air. Tries to get another touch. Format get it through one in Chicago with a response. Now AXB taking this one slow, hoping that his teammate that's upfield has time to bump goalies. But G2 managed to dodge all the bumps and get the ball back to midfield. Push it into the blue. Gimmicks uncontested on this touch, but just lofts it. Now Rizzo to the edge. Chicago to chase this one and kind of forced Gimmick into the touch Chicago was trying to make. Ball spending a lot of time high in the midfield. JNAPS to pinch this one up above the goal. Here comes Chicago versus AXB. Wow. AXB is looking so for the bumps. Middle. It's, it's, you, we keep version one's trying to do what G2 has been doing. They'll catch the ball in midfield, slow down for a second and let one of the players get upfield, look for bumps. But it's just too telegraphed. It's too obvious yeah. what they're trying to do. Exactly. It's taking just a little too long to develop and they don't have the, the forward positioning and the ability to get players off that goal line to take them out of the play over on that G2 side. So version one, it's it's not a bad idea. It's a good <laughs> idea. And what is this from JNAPS out of the corner? Rizzo just gets a piece of one over AXP. JNAPS, yeah, no problem. I can go get that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like they're already they're already done. You've already killed them. The game's over. And JNAPS is like, cool, I watched this. Just in case you guys forgot. I don't even need this goal, but it's the, probably the prettiest goal of the series so far. Five to nothing. G2 currently outscoring version one in the series, 11 to one. As AXB's gonna try and make it 11 to two. It's not quite on target. Rizzo clears it to the side. 30 seconds for life. Here comes Rizzo. JNAPS now. Pass to one. Torment to the back wall. And Chicago with a clear over one. So, version one here, losing two games in a row. They're now down to match point, and again, these are the teams playing at 2-0. and oh. 
winner of this series goes through to tomorrow. We saw in this match yesterday at Chiefs, it was Space Station versus E United. Space Station won, and then E United didn't manage to get the win at all. E United went three games down by themselves. It was a problem. So, yeah, like E United not able to get the win there. I'm kind of I'm worried the same thing might happen here for version one. So we will get through to the next game here momentarily. And this one will be a lot of fun. I've 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 enjoyed watching G2 play though. They're just an absolute masterclass in performance. Be able to put so many things together. And I ch chat, it's just you and me. It's just you and me right now. How are you guys doing? Happy to have you guys here. I I think G2 at this point is also the longest running North American roster. They are because Cloud9 broke up. NRG has made a roster change at this point. I'm pretty sure someone can correct, can correct me, but I'm pretty sure G2 is the longest running North American team here. And this is their season. Last season was their season. They weren't able to quite pull off a world championship because we didn't have one. Um, but this season, if there's ever been a time when they could do it again, it would be this one. I'm excited for it. So let's go. Uh, we are going to be getting into this match here, this third match here in just a moment. I'm going to be trying to get achieves back here in just a moment. You guys bear with us. And Chachis, can you hear me? Hold on, he cannot hear me yet. He cannot, but he's about to. You guys aren't going to believe why. Because I'm not going to tell you. It's pretty crazy. Achieves. Achieves, my friend. Hello. How are you? I'm well. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we have made this work again. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> so, tell me your thoughts about these about these two teams. Well, I so my monologue. Well, the the previous game, uh, I mean, it, it really was just a wash, rinse, repeat. I mean, uh, you you hit the nail on the head. A little too telegraphed on the offense. A lot of missed touches from version one. That's just slowing the offense down even further. It's making it too easy for G two to have a lot of space uh, to really do whatever they want. Not to mention the fact that they're hitting great redirects and winning a lot of the challenges in the midfield that version one uh, just can't seem to get a hold of. So. Game three, you're really looking for uh, just the challenge game to improve a little bit from version one, see if they can get some more chances and go from oh. there. And indeed, oh. it happens. AXP just stuffs one in the midfield and Kimmich has an open goal. I am, so I'm not gonna lie, Kimmich's touch here is scary to me. This is like, he, he almost puts it out. <laughs> like, just let AXP have the goal at that point. Like, I don't, I don't he probably thought a goal was coming in. Hey. That's their second goal. They need to start scoring at this point. It's their first lead of the series. Take what you can get. Version one, finally on top. Let's see if how they play now with the lead. It is always actually a very interesting thing to see how a team that's been losing plays with the lead. Do they get more aggressive? Do they start having more success? And it seems like yes for now, because <laughs> this is just an awkward ball in the G2 box. JNABS just gets beat. Chicago, AXB, they clash at the middle of the box, and AXB understands exactly how that challenge is coming off Chicago's car. Doesn't get pulled into the jump battle. Just lets him ping it right back off his nose, and it stays right there on the goal line. We are now at a 2-0 lead. Version 1, can they make it 3-0? There's a stop. Over 2. Now AXB back down and into the midfield. Gimmick to try. JNAP's now up. Demolitions galore. Can they find it? They sure can. My goodness. They have made it a 3v1. And Chicago's able to put it through. Oh, that's a classic one. Uh, wh why did these go in? Because demos. Boom, boom. Win the ball. Pass to mid. Next question. <laughs> G2 it's cuts hard for the them lead to in defend half. when they don't exist, Achieves. <laughs> <laughs> 302 on the clock now. A mid neutral challenge there. Rizzo's touch nearly going to just go straight in. It's a one goal game. G2 light him up with fireworks to get that first goal. Make it a one goal game. Gimmick into the corner. AXP, a nice extension to midfield. Demolition again. But this time, the challenge in the midfield on the front line defense going to be strong. Make the, that demolition not matter. Torment wins a nice one. JNAPS gets up in the air before he can get bumped out of the way. But AXP chasing in net nearly finds a way to tuck it in. Nice. Good job there from Rizzo, just taking that ball back across the corner instead of letting it roll. Because he knows it's a dangerous spot to be in, and now version one's offense definitely speeding up here Whoa. as that one just off the mark. Gimmick going for the back post shot. It's the right move, just didn't quite get it in between the goal posts. Gimmick. 
Pushing it over one. J naps now. Through the edge. AXP in the corner. Two minutes left in the game. Version one. With the task of reverse sweeping a hot G2. They've got the lead in game three. This is step number one. And they're looking to try and extend that lead. Some nice carries into the box, but G2 is able to move it out just fine. Ooh. Excellent touch from Rizzo. Chicago Ooh, through two as so well, done. making him like Swiss cheese, but Torment just barely gets the save before getting demolished. <laughs> On the nick of time, Chicago gets bumped by AXB and won't be able to create play. And then Rizzo bumps Chicago in the midfield. And yet somehow they stay up on offense. Here comes JNAP's gold to play Ooh. off the post and out. What a save. Version 1 holds on to their lead. Torment and Gimmick both making a couple of big stops in some very difficult scenarios. G2 definitely with some great command of the ball in that final third. They did just give it up here, though, so we'll see if version one can extend the lead, get a big insurance goal with a minute left. They're going for those demos on the goal line again, but AXP and Gimmick have got out of the way of them now. Version one is slowly adapting, becoming more difficult to bump. They are keeping their eyes wide out of their peripherals. That one's into the backfield. Rizzo demolished actually will work out in G2's favor here. He spawns deep in the third man. And now Chicago lofts it over one. They go for the bump on the other. No, it's actually why Gimmick was tucked far enough back in the goal that he was like, undemoable. Now Rizzo onto the backboard once more. Got two players up. Torment will hold on to it, and he's going to just try and kill this ball. Cloud nine, former roster here. Very good at killing time. Cool. AXB gets a great save of a high drop shot. Gimmick now versus JNAPS. Back down the field oh. looking for security. AXB in the back. Rizzo to JNAPS. Soft touch, just barely high ball for Chicago, though. We'll go in. Oh. That's the tie game. JNAPS puts it through. And that all comes back off of Gimmick mis-executing a pass. He was letting the ball roll, getting that extra space into that G2 side, but then he just didn't get the power on the pass across, and G2 stole it away and turned it up the field under pressure again on the counterattack. And version one crumbled with 21 on the clock. 18 seconds left. G2 needs one goal to sweep version one. We saw United drop their chance at the 2-0 mark and then go on to drop their next two chances and not qualify in group A. Version one. You'd hate to see the same thing happen to them. Looks like overtime, though. If AXB and Gimmick don't put it away right here. Ooh. Where it comes Torment, he's going to be off the target, and Chicago should let this one die. Overtime in game three. G2, one goal away from next week. And Chicago took a big risk there, trying to poke that one across, but they get through into overtime, and Rizzo cannot get the ball through Torment, and now they're putting the pressure on JNAPS on the back wall, but JNAPS definitely made a good name for himself as one of the most staunch defenders oh, in the North oh, American oh, oh. scene, and AXB denied by Chicago again on the goal line. Now advancing to midfield. Gimmick to try and turn this one around. Rizzo, what a read, and into the corner now. It's going to take the boost as well. AXB's just trying to stall out. Two players up. Chicago's there. AXB manages to block it and send it to the edge. Now back high. Here comes Gimmick to the backboard. That'll be version one taking a game. We'll go to game four. All right. They get one on the board and a well-deserved one. They played pretty well here. Torment wins the challenge. Rizzo's just a little bit late. And Gimmick makes sure that it gets all the way around him because it's very easy to get lazy with that shot because the goal looks so big when the guy is coming at you from the left-hand side. But if he goes towards the middle of the goal for that left side, there's no way that Rizzo doesn't get a piece of it. So Gimmick not complacent. And Gibbs said a gimmick might be able to carry him to a win here, and he did so here in game three. Three shots on or three goals on four shots, and Torment and AXB definitely pulling their weight. The save column doesn't show it, but I think Torment and AXB had a wonderful defensive showing here in this one to stop G2 from pulling out the broomsticks. Yeah, and, and that first goal was really AXB's goal that gimmick stole yeah. <laughs> yeah. <and> nearly <laughs> screwed. So version one here. Gimmick though, definitely coming alive in this game and helping carry his team to a victory there nine shots for their three goals and i think the biggest the biggest thing we saw the biggest change we saw was their ability to dodge the demolitions their ability to, 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 to there were moments where you could see g2 was downfield looking for players to demo they were able to get out of their way and make the saves not as we saw a few goals get scored on demolitions but not as many we didn't see g2 just get to run away with that yeah, definitely a real nice job. Uh, the, the adjustments that you talked about at the start of this one, definitely getting used to the demo approach, and they definitely were able to stop having that happen to them quite as much. But we'll see if that continues, because we saw that, uh, was it was it yesterday? Or was it last week with one of the teams in Europe where they were able to adjust uh, to the demo strats, and then they 
just couldn't quite have the same effect on offense. I'm trying to remember if that was even yesterday. It's like they talked about it all kind of blurs together when you've got this much rocket league going on. It does happen, but it is, it is a key characteristic of an RLCS quality team, the ability to adapt mid game. Rocket League, the improvisers eSport. With the top of one, Torment. Now looking for AXB, he's reached for it and bounces it off the ceiling into the goal. Chicago has to make a save, and now Rizzo looking for the transition. He's very loose on the connection, though, and JNAPS will get demolished on the far side, leaving Chicago alone. It's an excellent touch, but Gimmick has it red, and now it's back into the orange once more. JNAPS back down, and AXB will take a shot. Rizzo's got the save on the bicycle touch. And demolitions <laughs> in goal as well. Version 1 starting to wow, play G2's game. They pave the way and get the first goal. Oh, gimmick like entered into that backfield like I don't know five maybe ten seconds before this replay started and he was literally doing nothing but bumping stealing corner boost bumping again challenging and then finally got the ball into the middle and they scored <laughs> 4 11 Version one, another bump on the Chicago manages to recover and get a save on a ball that most likely wasn't going in anyways but still nice touch At the top of gimmick Torment, excellent touch from his corner all the way down. This was another thing that I feel I felt version one needed to improve on in games one and two. They were taking too much contact to get the ball out of their field and give themselves scoring opportunities. But what is Ooh. happening here? What was this just absolute catastrophe? Well, it's definitely a real awkward situation here for G2. AXB makes a good touch trying to go for the wall. Chicago and Gimmick both think the other person is getting to the ball first. <laughs> And so neither of them take a real clean approach and AXB is able to rotate back out of the corner you just landed in, make the adjustment to put the goal away. That was a spaghetti junction. Too what? many players right <laughs> on top of each other. Spaghetti junction. Yes. <laughs> 338. It's, always something new with you, Wave Punk. You put a smile on my face every day. <laughs> Shout out to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Jane Apps down the field. Torment's going to just take the shot from the middle. Gimmick was trying to pound the goalies who weren't quite there. Chicago's managed to get back just in time. And version one now up by two. This two goal lead was enough to get them to overtime in game number three. Is it enough to get them a win again here? G2 having to start opening up the artillery from midfield instead of looking to just take away the back line. Adjusting and trying a new offensive strategy so far, it hasn't given them any goals. He's still keeping that horizontal movement on their own half and AXB with a good mark. And there's that classic demo gimmick has to give up space, but able to understand where the next touch is headed and get up the wall early after dodging the bump. Oh, that's some that's some players piled up. That'll be a goal. Jnap's going to get that one to the far side. Too many players trying to be, play defense at the same time. And gimmick knew it, too. He rotates in a goal, sees that pop into the middle and immediately jumps. And the sad part is the gimmick played that perfectly. The dive across the goal, jumping early, it's the right move because if it goes high in the net, he can make the adjustment in time. If it's low, there's a good chance the Dominus gets a piece of it because it's so big. But unfortunately, that ball just squeezed right out of the wheels. We saw G2 make the comeback in the second half of game number four here, or in game number three. Here in game number four, they've already got themselves one a one goal differential here they got a lot more time now to tie this up than they did in game number three can they make it work and possibly get the win finished off here in four games or are we going to overtime again is version one gonna possibly find a third regulation goal they have yet to score three games or three goals in regulation time in this series chicago passed one and now flicking the pass two up to JNAP. Small touch over Torment. That leaves one defender in the back as the third rotates back around. They played off to the side. JNAP's going to keep it high. They're keeping it away from version one, but not really giving it to themselves either here. There's a touch gimmick. Going to get it over the top of one and Rizzo. We'll just guide the ball off to the corner. And you say they're definitely, you know, making the touches. It's kind of keep away, but it's uh, it's keep away just to see what the defense gives you because they know that they didn't really place the balls where they wanted to. So they're trying to just make a touch on the ball, see what the defense does and adjust from there. And that's exactly why this game is an improvisers eSport. You don't have the, the luxury of always being able to do exactly what you want in any given scenario. And G2, you know, it's throwing the pasta at the wall and seeing what sticks sometimes. There's gimmick on the ball. JNAP's behind him. Now AXB. 
He met by Chicago. Rizzo into the corner here. JNAP's now up all by himself. He's not going to be able to put it on target, but he gives it to Chicago. Is it? Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. The placement is beautiful, and they tie the game. That is 100% placement. You are absolutely correct. JNAP's with a beautiful pass into the middle. A gimmick's got the top left, probably even the bottom right, but Chicago goes top right corner with a beautiful catch on the ball. And what are you going to do if you're version one? It's, it's either perfect or you save it. And that's twice in this series now, Chicago's been perfect. Well, G2 was able to come back in game three and tie it up, but lost it in overtime. Can they finish this one off in regulation? Here comes another opportunity. Jane up to the back wall. One player already up. They've got the defense kind of haphazardly mixed up on top of themselves, but they get a solid clear on the back of Torment. Now Rizzo up against AXB. Wonderful pinch. Chicago demolishing his own back third. AXB now looking for bumps. JNAPS will meet the ball before he gets touched. Takes the boost. Now looks for Torment from underneath. And kind of half rotates around, leaving the goalies lots of time just to read the situation. 20 seconds left. Tied up at two apiece. G2 on match point. JNAPS onto the wall. Bounces up high. Rizzo looks for oh, an nice. excellent touch. Gimmick's got the save. Do they have a follow-up? No, the ball just stays glued to the backboard. They'll look for some goalies, but Gimmick comes in to get it away. Gimmick keeping V1 alive. G2 turns around. One second. No time on the clock. Torment wants to finish it off in regulation. Chases it down himself. Rizzo's oh, covered that up. Could be Here game. comes Chicago. It could be disastrous if they kept it up. No. Oh, the touch. And yep. he just puts it in for the buzzer beater. That's G2 sending V1 to the next round. And G2 advances. You knew there was a chance as soon as Rizzo won that ball. And all Chicago had to do was not drill it into the ground. He knew he had Jane Apps coming up behind him. A nice catch off the backboard to get it back into the middle. JNAP's right on top of it. Version one rotating back. It was always going to be a tough play. And you're just kind of hoping against hope that they don't execute perfectly. And again, G2 aced it. And you know, Rizzo, he didn't have a, a big score line in this last game, but definitely the most critical play. And overall, I think in the series, uh, Rizzo, while we were sitting here fawning over JNAP's and Chicago's ability to shoot the ball and be perfect, uh, Rizzo was a phenomenal third cog in that uh, machine where. Uh, I've always been a little hit or miss on how Rizzo played, but I think he was a phenomenal support here in this series. No, there, there have been times in G2's career where uh, uh, the analyst considered Rizzo to be somewhat of a liability on G2. It was, like, will he be consistent? Will he choke the important touches? And this was a beautiful example of just how much this team has settled together. Rizzo absolutely played his part perfectly. It's not represented on the scoreboard here, but there was no moment I could think of where I was like, man, Rizzo made the wrong touches. Matter of fact, there's plenty of touches he made that were not going to be ones that show up on the scoreboard, but were genuinely the V touch that enabled the offense to stay together like that. I loved watching it. G2 is so solid and they will play again next week. So um, that's going to do it for that match. And the next one we've got coming up at Chiefs is just as juicy. <laughs> NRG taking on Envy. Turbo Pulse of playing against his old roster. Who's going to take it down? We'll find out in just a moment on RLCSX.